I started my education at the same school my mother attended, mm -hmm. Buchanan Elementary. I uh, attended kindergarten and first grade there. Mm -hmm. And then the next year, I came to Loman Hill. Mm -hmm. There was no big uh, commotion or big to do about my moving from Buchanan to Loman Hill. It was just like a smooth transition mm -hmm. from one school to another. And I really didn't understand or know the significance of why I moved until I was probably in junior high. Mm -hmm. it, I was just in a new school with a bunch of new kids to uh -huh. learn their names and... Um, begin friendships with, mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, the socialization is just a, a new experience. Right. And, um, I didn't notice, well, yes, I did know they were white, but okay. So what? <laughs> <laughs> when you're a kid every day, you're encountering new things. And so, okay, this yeah. is what we're doing today. And you don't question it. It's just the way that it is. That's yeah. interesting. Uh, when we were at Loman Hill, you know, we learned about, uh, the civil rights era and we learned about in, in the rudimentary way that elementary school students learned about. It, and we learned about Brown versus the board of education. And we were aware that it was in Topeka, although your sense of what's local and what's national and how significant it is that this happened locally is not, it's not a fully developed sense of that when you're a kid, but thinking about you going to Loman Hill in, say, 1960, mm -hmm. Brown v. Board is only eight years old at that point. Was there not even discussion of it because there hadn't really been time for it to become historical, or were you aware of it? But when you are a kid, eight no. years ago is a long time. I was ago. not aware of it. Uh huh. I would like to think my parents were proactive because they did not distinguish between this happened because it's white, this happened because it's black, this happened because it is uh, segregated and the need. We weren't a political family. Mm -hmm. We were, this is the way the law is written. This is what we have to do. Just go with it. Right. And uh, there was no big issue made of it. Uh -huh. um, we really didn't talk too much about it until I would say I was an adult. Hmm. And... They would tell me, you know, things that uh, occurred with them in the aftermath, maybe, but they didn't want to dwell on it. Right. It was, in, I would say, probably insignificant because times were changing and this is the way things had to be.